my name is Lady Tina Leader, and here on this channel, we talk about charisma, communication, and confidence. And today we're talking about the mind and mouth connection. So let's get into it. The first thing is just writing. Have you ever noticed that you don't use filler words when you're writing out something? You never put, uh, well, typically you just get right to the point. As a matter of fact, if you need to pause, you would take the pause and not write anything. Then when you have more to write, then you'll go ahead and write. If you want to tell a story, actually write it out. Because when you write things out and you're used to writing things out, you naturally start organizing your thoughts. You naturally start thinking to yourself, wait, what should I say next? Without actually using those words as filler words, you just simply think it. We're talking about the mind to mouth connection. So we can't just write things out, we need to practice out loud. Rarely do people practice it before they actually speak out loud. That's when you tend to stutter, you tend to have filler words, and you tend to lose your trail of thought. The more you start writing things out and speaking it out loud, the more you start having this cadence of knowing what to say, how to say it, when to say it, and the organization in which you have your thoughts is just going to flow out of your mouth quite easily increasing your verbal fluency. If you already know my channel and you know me, I talk about verbal fluency. I'm a high verbal fluency advocate. So what is verbal fluency? If you ever had a time in which you were in the middle of a sentence and there's that one word or that one phrase that was at the tip of your tongue, but it just didn't quite come out because you couldn't remember it for some reason, that is a low verbal fluency state. Now that's something that you can actually train. It's a brain training process called the verbal fluency fluency training. This is something that I teach and I'll have a whole entire playlist. So you could click on the link down below if you want to learn more about that. Simply put, verbal fluency combines memory exercise and verbal output. The more you practice it, the stronger it's going to be when it matters the most. If you like this so far, hit that like button because it does help me quite a bit. Using silence. Like I talked about with writing it out loud, we typically don't use filler words. And when we are paused, what is on paper is being silenced. Nothing is happening on paper. So just like on paper, when you're not saying anything, we pause in our verbal communication. This one is a lot harder to do and you have to be very conscious about pausing instead of using filler words or pausing simply to just gather your thoughts, organizing your thoughts before you actually say them. You tend to sound like you're the expert in whatever field that you may be talking about. And quite frankly, it's just a lot easier to listen to from a listener point of view. One of my favorite things to do is to use the body. This could be your hands, your shoulders, your head, your neck, your eyes, your smile. It could be any part of your body. For example, if you're doing public speaking on stage, what I like to do is walk as I think. When I'm walking as I think, or if I have something that I'm ruminating on and I'm walking, not only is it visually pleasing for the audience, but it also allows my brain to think forward. There's something about this biokinesthetic feedback that happens when you go forward. Now, sometimes we can't go forward. So our hand gesture does the same thing. When we go like this, our actual mind and our brain tend to go, oh, step one, step two, step three, however you want to do it. Hey, I'm going to lay out something. So we can use hand gestures not only to make presentations more interesting, but it actually helps our brain to verbalize whatever thought that we may have have. Sometimes hand gestures and moving about isn't acceptable. So what I like to use is the head. Sometimes you could do head tilts or using the eyes, using the mouth. This is something you might want to practice in front of the mirror, but the more comfortable you get saying everything without saying a single word, just with your eyes, just with your slight head tilt that's going to be very, very powerful. And so you could be thinking in your head and you could have a lot of filler words even in your head, but you're using these motions to actually express those things without actually saying it, without actually verbalizing. My name is Lady Tina Leader, and here on this channel, we talk about charisma, communication, and confidence. So if that's something you'd like to learn more about, then click on the subscribe button.